Hey toy fans, I'm D21Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today we're once again looking at those Marvel Legends Infinite Series figures released by Hasbro. Before you, we've got the Hobgoblin Wave Anti-Venom figure released in 2015. Now I know I know, some of you may be looking at this figure and thinking to yourself, that looks like Venom but his colors are inverted. What's up with that? Well, if you're not familiar with Anti-Venom, he is actually the former reporter Eddie Brock who of course is better known as the original Venom. Eddie first appeared in Web of Spider-Man number 18 and would later debut as Venom in Amazing Spider-Man 299, continuing on into issue 300. However, after several years of villainous escapades, Eddie Brock became stricken with cancer and the Venom symbiote abandoned him for a stronger host who was actually the original Scorpion, Mac Gargan. After some time, and through a series of crazy comic book events, Brock eventually came back into contact with his missing Venom symbiote and when they attempted to bond, the resulting fusion actually spawned the anti-Venom suit that you see here, much to everyone's surprise. Now there's certainly more to the origin story than I've just shared with you here, but at least now you've got the basics. And with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to the packaging for this figure. As you come down the front of this box, you've got that Hobgoblin Build-A-Figure logo in the upper left, you've got the Spider-Man logo in the center, you've got a window box packaging that does house this anti-venom figure inside as well as this Build-A-Figure piece, you then have the logo for Marvel Legends Infinite Series, and finally the figure's name there towards the bottom, Anti-Venom. And as we flip this package around, you once again have that Marvel Legends Infinite Series logo in the upper left as well as the Spider-Man logo in the upper right. You've got a bio for Anti-Venom, go ahead and pause now to read that. You've got an image of Anti-Venom there towards the center, and then at the bottom you've got the Build-A-Figure Hobgoblin logo one more time, and the complete lineup of all the other figures available in this wave, with an image of the Hobgoblin Build-A-Figure off to the left. Alright guys, that's the packaging. Let's say we get Anti-Venom out of the box and see what he's all about. Alright toy fans, here we have Anti-Venom out of the box, and the first thing I'm noticing, at least under these lights, is that the plastic used for the feet, the hips, the torso, and the head seem to be a different shade of white from what we have on the legs and the arms. Uh, it's not a major deal, but I, I definitely can see the difference. Also, it's worth noting that the hands on this Anti-Venom figure seem to be borrowed largely from this Carnage figure we received last year. I'm noticing that the right hands of each figure are the exact same hand sculpt. Now, the left hand, on the other hand, does tend to be a little bit different. The fingers aren't in the exact same position, but the thumbs are, so I don't know if there's a little bit of tweaking they did there before they reused the hand. And of course, the body sculpt for this figure is familiar. It is that Hyperion, San Diego Comic-Con, Luke Cage, and of course, Radioactive Man body sculpt that we've received before. And I actually like that Radioactive Man has bigger feet. I wish the Venom had bigger feet too, because right now I think the feet just look kind of small on this guy. Now, while there are some reused pieces on this figure, we do have some original sculpted pieces too. Uh, Venom's forearms here are actually elongated here with some spikes coming off of them on either side here, and I think that those were done nicely to kind of give that anti-Venom slender arm look. I wish that they would have done a more slender leg and slender torso look, but I guess since they're reusing pieces that this is what we're going to get. And then as you flip the figure around, you can see that he does have this sort of attachment piece that's sculpted to kind of show those anti-Venom spikes. It just plugs into the back nicely. And then he has this head sculpt here, which I actually really do like the head sculpt of this anti-venom figure. It's painted very cleanly. I like the paint variation in the mouth here as it goes to kind of a lighter to a darker tone. And I like that they use that same paint here on the eyes. But really, the head sculpt overall is probably my favorite thing about this anti-venom figure. And then the paintwork where applied is definitely clean. I've got nice thick black lines everywhere, no white bleeding through. Same thing on the face, the black is very thick and very clean, and on the arms. Really, I'm happy with the paintwork on this figure overall. Aside from this detachable back spike piece, the only other thing that Anti-Venom comes with is this Hobgoblin Build-A-Figure piece, and we'll look at this in further detail as we review that figure in another video. Let's go ahead and get to the articulation. Anti-Venom has a head that will bend down only that far, the chin really does get in the way. His head will bend back very nicely and it does rotate all the way around. He's got a shoulder joint that rotates all the way around and bends out and up from the body only about that far and then rotates at the bicep. There is a double jointed elbow and then a wrist rotation here and then the hand will bend back and down that far. He's got the same articulation here on the other side. He does have a ab crunch that will bend forward that far very nicely and bend back very far very nicely. Rotates all the way around. He's got a hip joint that bends forward that far and bends back only about that far. Bends out from the body. Kind of nice. Full rotation here at the upper thigh. It's a little tight because he's fresh out of the box. And then we've got a double jointed knee. Rotation here at the calf. And then the foot does bend back that far and down that far. And it's got that Hasbro ankle pivot. So overall, a really great range of motion, especially for a figure with larger proportions. Height wise, we can see the Anti Venom does stand right about six and three quarter inches tall, almost seven inches. For some size comparison, here he is once again compared to that Marvel Legends Infinite Series Carnage we received last year, and compared to the original Venom from the Toy Biz Spider-Man Classics line, and compared to the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Agent Venom, and the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Amazing Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man, and finally, here he is compared to the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite Series Wolverine. 
All right, toy fans, well, that's my review of the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Hobgoblin Wave Anti-Venom figure released by Hasbro in 2015. Overall, going into the Hobgoblin Wave, this figure was my least desired of the set. But now that I've got him out of the box, I actually like him a bit more than I had expected. But I do think the proportions and sculpt work on this guy are a bit off. If Hasbro ever takes a second crack at this figure, I'd like to see the more comic accurate slender proportions for this figure implemented on the next release. That said, I am a big fan of the paintwork on this figure. While minimal, it's actually really clean and I really appreciate that. But I have to say, I don't know that I consider Anti-Venom an essential Spider-Man character these days. Unless you're a completionist, you might consider giving this guy a pass. Well, thanks for watching this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.